Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Timber Bond Z, where things are looking fantastic. We've expanded. Well, we already talked about that, but we're, we're expanding more. Actually, we didn't do much expanding last episode, but you know what? We, we did make some happiness. Happiness gains. Look, they've got so many fun things to do over here. They've got their campfires. They got some showers so we can have some nice wet beavers running around. We got some pools in here so they can get some exercise in. The exercise plaza is still in, so they're, they're getting all the exercise in. That's great. Back scratchers for days. So we got the bell to help them remember to get up and wake uh, wake up in the morning uh, feeling like... Well, is that song allowed anymore? I don't know. But we've got clocks. We've got got lanterns we've got housing and we've got so many fun things we've got mangroves that are currently still not uh, fully working properly because well this was uh pretty late in the going in and uh well we're running out of water down here but that's uh to be anticipated it was a 30 day drought that should be nearing the end soon ish hopefully so things are looking pretty good um i say that hopefully with, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, probably gonna expand this at some point today. We'll get on to that, uh, but this is what we're gonna be focusing on. This, uh, wonderful piece of poop. <laughs> All this needs to get torn down, which means we need a lot of gears, we need a lot of planks, we, we need a lot of metal, and we need a place where the food production can be on hold for a little bit. Or be elsewhere so that we can actually keep up with the food demand. Because I don't believe we have the food to have... Yeah, we, we don't have the food to have this torn apart for a prolonged period of time. We've got a lot of food stuffs, but it all needs to be processed, right? We don't have the processing power for that quite yet. Um, and we need to fix the whole bad water situation. Which I think means coming up here. I've been talking about coming up here for the past six, nine episodes, and, well, I think today's the day that we do it. And that probably means also getting up here and putting in our first bad water discharge and letting that flow. Probably turn this one on, honestly, and block this off so that just flows out this way, and that also gives us access to these ruins. And... Uh, or at least ruins during the uh, during the droughts. We can't really do anything during the uh, bad water season or during the, the temperate cycle. So this is going to be on hold a lot, I think. Um, but that also means probably moving our bad water pumps over here again, which isn't that bad now since we've got this access point down in here and I think I want to move this over to this area so it's, it's a bit cleaner of a uh, of a path over which means destroying this bridge and putting in some stairs right here and up and over and then down and all that fun stuff so that shouldn't take too much of our uh, resources as far as planks are and logs are concerned our log production is getting fixed now that we have storage for all of our logs over here so these guys can actually tear into all of this so that our forester can get everything back up and running so that's that's looking pretty good um i am going well we're still on pause so i'm not going to do that quite yet um and we're slowly getting to the point where i can tear this down move that over here so our housing or our um our farming district can get uh relocated uh, and we can tear out all of the storage here so that we can have better food storage, better food positioning, so that we can have even more food production over here. Because they, they could reach, like, pretty far, and this irrigates a huge swath of land. Um, because we've got that little barbell shape going in, so that's pretty good. Now, we don't have the water over here because we don't have any of this being actually pulled out yet, which we need to get that in, but that also requires getting all of this in. So that we can start putting in our deep water pumps which is something that we'll need to tackle and then probably find our way around in here as well just so we can gain access to even more water so these guys can be self-sufficient or selfish sufficient right because we don't have the food production over here like, like the the food production industry we have the basic industry for all the soybeans for all the kohlrabi cassava canola eggplant and corn but they can't eat that 
at at its raw state, right? So that means we need more beavers because we need more food production, which I wanted to separate. We talked about at the end of the last episode that we're going to separate all of this out. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we're going to work on today. I've been yapping long enough. Let's hit this play button. Let's get things moving in the right direction. We'll go ahead and go up to three times speed so things can get accomplished in the background. Let's, uh, let's start thinking about this. So, metal blocks, we have 106 of. The only thing that's taking metal blocks right now is nothing. Except for this stuff back here, which that takes 20 of. And so, okay, let's do some quick maths. We did quick maths last time, but let's do some more. Okay, that's 30. That's going to be another 10. So that's going to be, I probably want two or four of these actually. So that's... 70 metal blocks which we have um plus whatever that's going to be so that's another 20 so that's 90 metal blocks and then what else do we need that's going to tear into our metal block production i don't believe you take metal blocks you don't you're just gears and planks which the gear or the uh the industrial lumber mill and the gear workshop don't take much in the way of resources the problem is our gears aren't are not sorry sorry at uh, Planks. Our plank manufacturing is not keeping up with the demand because we're building over here a massive platform, um, which is which is eating into a lot of our stuff. Which we could probably, I think, right now we could could tear out our explosives manufacturing facility and put in another plank workshop. So I, I think I want this front line to be all wood, like basic wood stuff. So planks and gears can go right here. So we'll probably have like five, uh, four or five. Nah, we already have four. So we want five or six uh, plank manufacturing facilities right here. Then behind it, we can put some more. Oh, and we also wanted to put this on, on storage too. So that means we're going to have to... Uh, do I want to? Yes, I want to do that here. I also wanted to break this off into its own districts. So these guys can work a bit faster. Because they are having to travel from all the way over here. Get over here. But that also means we're going to need some more food. And uh, see see the compounding problems that we have here, guys. This, it, it's a compounding issue. It's it's just constantly back and forth with all these things. Um, Now, we do have a lot of storage up here. But it's... If we, if we look at like, the pathing problem, you see how everything is red. Not the best. Not what we want to see happening here. Um, but I, unless I just make another district over here, I can't really fix that. Because this front side... Hey, look, our, our well-being went up to 22. That's the new highest well-being for, uh, for these iron teeth. So that's fantastic. That's orange, and then it just goes red. And there's not really a way for me to make them happy with that. It's just the the district limitations are the district limitations. And unless I put in storage over here for foodstuffs. Well, I could do storage over here for foodstuffs as soon as all these uh, ruins are taken out. So maybe we could expedite that a little bit by putting in five of these real quick. Give this a little priority bump so they can come over here. Because we do have five spare beavers sitting around doing nothing right now. I believe. Uh, well, I could turn this back on, this builder's hut, which could help this. Oh, wow. That's uh, almost entirely done. So that's cool. Um, I need to go out a little bit further because I want water pumps on this side. And I believe... So we're going to make you... Wait, uh, here, storage. Go ahead and flip that like that. And then... That's berries, that's eggplants, that's fermented cassavas. Nothing. Mango fruit. Um. Not sure. Well, how many, how, how much in the food production do we have here? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six different food groups if you will right we can actually just pull this up so two four 
six right now going. Um, and that'll be six in here once I move that over. So that should be good. Just need to make sure that they get that over there. That requires, again, back to that whole food production mess that we need to get situated. So I think... Are we good enough on metal? Did they get this in yet? No, because I keep telling them to prioritize other things. Um, I think... Let's empty that out. And that's already prioritized. I think soon we can probably divest this uh, this area and make it its own place. They do have food. Need I do need to put in more uh, a way for them to acquire their own water. So we'll do that real quick. I think this uh, this side will have that's four. Eight, and then uh, a bunch of people in here to work at the district crossing. That'll be four, four or eight in the district crossing. Probably don't need eight, honestly. Um, they're just moving foodstuffs, which they should be able to facilitate that pretty easily. Um, pull that in here so they can get to all of that. That's too high. Oops. Should have just pulled out the destruction tool instead of doing that by hand individually, but that's fine. We'll get that in right there. Put this uh, fluid or deep water pump in like so. Put that right there. Get this in. And then probably throw a shrub in right there or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's going in nicely. All of these are slowly getting put in. They should have logs still coming out here. We're not doing too hot on the log production. Where do I need to put more people over here to help you guys out? Probably need more haulers, honestly, to keep up with the demand. Um, but we do have these guys tearing into this pretty fast, and soon they're going to be like, I don't have anything to do because you can only have one beaver working on one little section of a ruin at any given time. So that's going to be a problem soon, but that's getting torn out, so that's good. Um... Could pause these guys and get some additional uh, workers running, builders running. So that'll be good. That's good. That's good. That's maxed out there. There we go. 23. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Let's see here. I don't want to really mess with any. Yeah. Our food, our food storage is not the greatest. But that's the end of the longest drought to date. And we did not drain this area out. Now, we aren't really producing as much water as I'd like to, but we're not in the net negative, I think. I think we're in the positive for the amount of beavers that we have available as far as uh, water, uh, water acquisition is concerned. So, I think that's good. That did drop down into that little last bit of that... Uh, river if you will so that's not the best um that's fine and path over here and path like that that is empty now so that means we can put in the storage container right here and okay so that was berries there hey you are eggplant rations you're fermented cassavas mango fruit um we have corn over here i don't believe we do and uh what are we missing over here we got eggplant we got pa -pa 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 -pa. fermented cassavas in here we don't have kohlrabi storage over here but there is kohlrabi storage right there that's fine um when they fill that up if they fill that up it'd be okay probably oh wow we have 11 on it oh 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 my <laughs> Oops! This was all... Yeah, that's not good. Sorry, guys. It's a little, little flood. Little flood. Little flooding. Okay. It, it'll get out. 
Hopefully none of... Oh, yeah. We lost some soybeans. We lost some canola. Oopsie. I made a whoopsie. Got that blasted out so that can flow in there and meet the demand here. Requirements here. So that's good. This is all green again. So that can keep going. We should probably expand this a little bit so we can have some more mangroves. That would mean blasting this down over here, but I don't think that that's necessary. We could do a, a beaver-made mangrove forest over here pretty easily. It's all healthy. That's all fine. Um, so this is in. That's good. Now you should be building that one here shortly. Now, two beavers should be able to meet the requirements for... What do we end up saying? Like 12 to 16? I think 16 in this district should be fine. Two beavers pumping should be enough. Should be. Should be. Yeah. Hey, I think it's time to separate these guys out. I think. Maybe. Um, okay, that needs to get destroyed. That can get destroyed. That can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. You guys can clean all this up for me real quick. And then probably could move that over here. Maybe, I don't know. Um, we are going to need them to bring foodstuffs, I already mentioned. Um, we could expand our... Da, 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 our kohlrabi production. This, this path isn't needed like that. So this path can go like that. And then we can tear that path out like so. And boom, boom. And then... They can plant some more canola, some more cassava back in here. Then that should help out a fair bit. Um, do I want it on this side or that side? I think I want it on this side. So, go ahead and do that now. And we'll go ahead and throw in our district crossing. Yes, make that a max priority. And then where do we want to put our district over here? Um, probably here-ish. It wouldn't be a bad spot. I know I just tore out housing to accommodate that. Um, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I think that should be okay. We'll put the district in right here. Everything should be green now. You aren't needed as haulers. Same for you guys. I'll just set you to obtain. Might tear you out. I don't foresee a need for um, words. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, I do have the dip with that on this side. So, we are going to need couple more. That's okay. Okay, then that's uh, 11 positions gone, or no, 11 beavers, but 17 positions gone unfilled, of which that's five, four on this side, that's four on this side. So let's go ahead and migrate population. Still need a name for this, so comment down below what you guys think it should be. Let's go with minimum of, let's call it 16, 17 for now. 17 over here and they'll be able to keep up with their own production of beavers just fine i should move those over to the side um now that means that you guys should be bringing in uh i'll hit the import always on that just for what we need that's fine, and I think we need sparkly planks in order to rebuild these guys, right? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Housing. 
that goes right here and right here and we can put in another storage for our extract storage here let's get that knocked out we should have the planks don't have anything else for any of that but that should be fine that's four in there believe every position is now filled over here with no issue and housing is fine um food over here is kind of lacking they're going to be eating berries for a little bit until everything can get pulled in and expand our kohlrabi production so that will help out a fair bit um and we could do soybeans i did want to bring over an engine right how are we doing on water that has not blown over the side that's not good that's a this has been the longest temperate cycle yet so that's uh anticipated there we can get rid of those guys uh again there's only two little spots there what was i gonna put over here i don't recall um so yeah you guys aren't able to keep up with that but i think we can go ahead and get rid of that go ahead and get rid of that as well and then let one guy just finish up that little area so this what i think we're gonna do housing and food storage over here so we can break this off do its own little thing but now we've got planks now we've got gears now we've got metal blocks now we can start tearing this apart and rebuilding it. I think that's what we can start working on now. And I think we can probably... Probably maneuver... I still need to fix this whole thing over here. And we aren't pulling in any bad water. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. That's not good. Um, need some bad water, so we probably... How do we have three beavers out in the cold two beavers out in the cold what district are they out in the cold in in this one no way what what huh um well let's see here you have nothing to do now so you're fired okay we can we can fix that we are going to do this over here, do this over here. They can build that pretty fast. And let's do some food storage over here. So that goes right here, right here. Flip that like so. And that will be food storage. Um, we're going to need water storage over here. So this, this side, this whole industry is not going to be self-sufficient. We're not going to really have much in the way of acquiring the appropriate food and water for themselves because none of this is workable they're just going to be purely an industry um i am going to need to get a way for them to gain access to water though because ooh, that could have been bad um last day yeah it should be fine it should be fine this filled in this backside, so that's good this is pretty full we got 2.2 k water this is filling in at the last day that should be fine hopefully okay let them build this up and then we can start tearing this down foodstuffs nope there a somewhere i can Put in temporary food production. Maybe. Maybe. Up here. That might be where we could do that. So let's destroy this path right here. Let's put in some food production. Just some fermenters for now. Like that. And then if we get that little... Uh, power shaft in right there that should connect all of that pretty easily if we do that then that's not going to be a problem all of that will be powered 
and the power will transfer between those two buildings and through this into the uh, gravity battery, so that's not going to be a problem. This did fill up. It did start overflowing again, so that's good. This is all full over here. It still hasn't overcapped that, so that's not a problem. All of this is full. Water is looking really nice, and it is a drought, so I don't need to worry too much about that. The problem is I didn't keep pulling in all of the bad water. This is all going to just flow out this side again. I still need to get over there and fix that. That also means coming over here and filling this in too. Or just being that off. I keep saying I need to get up here. I, I, uh, what are we on? Like episode 9 of wanting to get up there and still having not gotten up there yet? Okay, so foodstuffs. Um, berries. Corn. Cassava. Eggplant. Soybeans. Uh, let's go with mangroves. That's good there. Housing is good on this side. Need water storage over here, so we need to do storage like so. Put that in here. Get this a priority bump. That needs to get accomplished, and then I think okay, those are going in, so that's good. And you don't have any recipes selected. Fermented cassava, fermented cassava, fermented soybeans, and I think yeah, that's fermented soybeans. That should keep up with the demand, hopefully, maybe allegedly. We're still not. The production side is not keeping up either. But we've got the storage. Corn is here. They're just not picking the corn fast enough. Um, and, well, eggplant storage is full here. Eggplant storage in general is full. The corn storage is not... Or, not anywhere near it. But there's plenty of corn here. So what are they doing with the majority of their time? They're picking cassava. Check on this district just to make sure that they're doing all right over here. All the positions are filled. I don't think I need a builder's hut right there. So that's good. We can destroy that. And destroy that. Destroy that. You guys can pick all that up. Police. Probably not gonna be able to pick some of this up because you don't have any storage for it. Yeah. Um fix that pretty easily. Just put in some small industrial storage piles in here, back in here. That uh metal blocks and treated planks. Metal block no, not metal scrap. Metal blocks. Treated planks. And you guys should be able to pick that up pretty easily once those are in. Are there logs on this side? There are none. But should be able to in. Yes. Yes. Logs should be on their way in. Food-wise, how are we doing? Nobody's hungry over here. We've got plenty of corn rations coming in. Corn rations seems to be the only thing that's keeping anybody actually running. So that's no bueno. Um, why are you guys eating this? Did I not turn that off? I thought I blocked this off for not being torn down. Well, that's no bueno, but all of this is still up. We're doing good on pine resin, so that's fantastic. I'm not too upset by that. This is all in. This is moving. Get you prioritized by haulers. And we can actually start tearing this apart now. Since we have the foodstuffs moving back there, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The problem is we're not going to be able to do any of the corn rations and or the eggplant rations because that's we're going to be tearing out the food factories. But we're going to be putting in two additional food factories. That should keep up with the demand. Now, I think we can pull the trigger on all of this. Right? Yeah. This is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Just trying to 
do some quick maths real quick. Should be fine. Should be fine. So. Do it. Yes. Okay, that's all cleared up. That's a lot of industry gone right there. But it's, it's gonna gonna make sense, hopefully. Hopefully it's gonna all make sense. Three, four, five, six of those. Gear workshops. Oh, of course it's not gonna not gonna be good there. Um you guys do need to come over here and clean all this up though, because that's a lot of material that we can get back. That would be appreciated. You guys could do something productive with your life while we're doing all this. You guys come over there and clean that up. And then on the back side, so that's six of those, two gear workshops. We need a few more gear workshops on the back side. Probably four should meet the intent. Okay, and I don't believe we need any more of those. And food. So we have four up here. I feel like we need more than four this time around. So let's try to fit eight fermenters in here. That's two. Um, yeah, that's there. Okay, give me that side back. Fermenters like that. Like that. And that I shouldn't need to do any power lines between any of those guys. And, well, that's five. Um, is there any... Well, I could squeeze another one in on this side, or two, honestly. Yeah, I could fit two more in over there. That should be good. I need pathing. Along this back side. Pathing in here. So that's all cleaned up. They are working on all of that. We have any more builders huts over here that we could turn on? No, no, we don't. Um, check on our industry over here. Just make sure they're okay. Uh, we can expand some of this while they're working on that in the background. We can work on. They can be working on some of this. Uh, not that I want soybeans. I already have it selected. Give me that. There we go. Yeah, I don't want that. Either. I don't want that. I don't want that there at all. Okay. Um, you guys are pumping that. You guys are doing just fine on water supply. Yeah, you're fine on water. Um, I'm going to have to work on their happiness or well-being over there pretty soon. What are you guys building, though? Should be building... Oh, I have you cleaning up everything. That's why you're not doing anything. So I can turn that down a smidge. You guys will get to that. Gave you something to do, but now you have actual building stuff to clean up so that you guys can start working on that. Okay, that's powered. Understood. Um, probably just you guys aren't sitting on your bums doing nothing. Pause all of that. Then we need to get this side. So that side, we're going to need more food production. So that's food factories. So we wanted four of these, right? Two, three, and four to meet the demand. And then now we need to do, find a way to fit two of these uh, smelters in here. That's one and two. So we could tear this out, actually. Tear all of that out. Uh, back in the metal here. Smelters there, too. Two smelters. Now that we've cleared out a spot right there, we can expand this way a little bit further. Um, you guys don't need to be working right now because that's not getting accomplished. All of it's getting built pretty fast, though, so that's that's fantastic. That's great. Don't need anybody sitting in there on their bums doing nothing. Food's still okay. They're going to probably start eating into their berry supply here soon. But they are producing 
more fermented cassavas now and soybeans because of these. We have four of these running now, so that's pretty good. That's Gucci. We'll hold off on tearing those out until we have this back up and running again. Um, we do need path built in right there. Um, oh, I wanted to put this on stuff. Uh, let's destroy that, actually. Let's tear this down. Go, 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 go. Destroy these. And then... We'll go with storage. Do I want large warehouses? No. We'll go with medium storage here. And then on the back side... Wait, that's not working. Okay, we're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like this. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to... Um, path here like so and then should be able to just no that's not that's not gonna work like that i have to put that right there then that like that and that's where we're going to put our path along this back side here like so you are going to be uh egg for corn, you'll also be corn. You will be eggplants. Not corn. Eggplants, please. Eggplant. Eggplant. And then once all that gets built in, we can put our food processor on top of that. Like this. And then I need a... Quick and easy way down. So actually, let's go ahead and destroy that one. We'll have this path destroyed there. That path right there destroyed. Get these stairs in like so. And then we can path along up top. Right? That should be pretty nice. Oh, I want to destroy the path, please. Um... Drop that, and then... Oh, that's not how I want that to work. No, no, no. That's fine. I have to do this manually, I guess. I don't like having to do this manually. It takes so much time and effort, and the clicks are all over the place. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, and then... Bring that back up, and then probably have to path around there. Well, no, I don't want to path around there. Yeah, there's no need to path around there. Well. Um, oh, I need power to it. You feed power to it somehow. Because it's not going to go up. Okay, you guys can be paused. Um, do I want to do the same for this stuff over here. I feel like the answer is yes. How are we doing on food? Doing okay. On food. This is going. I need a way for power to up. I foobarred that. That's on me. Hmm. Good could blast this out. Do we have the explosives to blast all that in the extract? I think the answer is yes. But I don't really have the means to turn it. Um, unless I went back around and in, I don't think that's going to help anything. Okay, let's pause. Let's pause. Let's think about this. Because things are getting ahead of us. Getting ahead of me, and it's not good. Um, you guys don't need to be working right now. Go, go, go do something productive with your time. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. If that went straight up one... And then I had, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. What am I, what am I having a problem here? That's easy. 
This is an easy fix. There's no need for me to be having a... I don't want to say conniption or anything like that. But yeah. Hit that like that. And then come in here, hit this power button. Rotate that like so. And then we'll have a... Uh, just a one corner piece. And that should feed right into that. And all that will get done. Okay. that That's easy. That's simple. Max prioritize that because that needs to get accomplished yesterday. How are we doing on our planks? And metal is fine. Everything's doing good. Okay. Sweet. This is looking a lot cleaner too. Um, foodstuffs are doing okay over here. Soybeans are doing good. Food is doing good over here. Water just hasn't made it over here yet. Once the water gets over here, I could probably break this side off as well. And then we can put in some uh, some additional things for these guys to do. Yeah. Once that's done. I want this storage to stay... Well, I don't need that storage to stay over here, right? Because the majority of this is just food storage. Yeah, that's all food storage. Which I have massive food storage is over here. Yeah, there's no need for that. And this can all just be industrial storage, and the food that they need can be right here. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is looking really nice. Okay, explode that right there. And then get this little corner bracket in. Like so. Give that a priority bump. Now, what else do we need over here? We need... Throw in some additional storage. Like so. And that can be... So this will be... Let's pause so they don't get ahead of me here. I want you to be storage for canola seeds. You can be storage for cassavas. You can be storage for soybeans. And then... Uh, go ahead and do some more base stuff for cassavas and soybeans. Yeah. So that can go in there. That gives these guys easy access to come out and back in. And then on this top side, we'll put in a way for power to transfer over, maybe, to allow for... Us to put in the um, uh, processor. Uh, what is it called? Oil press. Vet words. Um, I don't really have the means. To, well, I could path over in that way like that. It might have to actually happen. So this will... That'll be our power junction. I think that's... It's not going to be pretty. But it will meet the intent for what we need to happen here. We're going to need a lot of these, honestly, because the uh, canola oil is going to be one of those things that we're going to need a metric poop ton of. Because the bots need all of the canola oil for all of the things. So that will have to be something that we keep on the back of our mind throughout this entire playthrough slash build. Because... They're going to need a lot of it. That's probably too much for what we need right now. We don't have the beavers to fill all these positions right now. But it's looking a lot cleaner. What else are we missing over here? We are missing two of these. Which is simple enough. We should... I believe we've got sparkly plank storage. We do... Got scrap metal storage. We have plank storage. Doing, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Okay, let's unpause. Let's get things back up and running again. And that should. Oh, we haven't actually gotten the power down to here yet. Um, how do we want to run that? Could run it underneath. Do we want to run it underneath? Do I have the ability to run? I'm going to have to. I'm not going to be able to path over that. Um, 
Yeah, we'll we'll run it underneath for now. There really isn't a point to run it underneath. This well, we'll be able to put the storage in there again pretty easily. Let's have them do that. Prioritize the explosives, please. And I need an explosive factory. That's right. We're missing the explosive factory. Um, we can unpause you guys. Get you working on corn rations again. And eggplant rations. You're going to run out of canola seed oil. No, you're not because this is running again. So that's good. This all went in. You guys aren't running across that. Boom. Nobody exploded. So that's good. Let's get some power transfer in. Not like that button. Like this button. So. Got that there. And then we'll throw our platforms on top. And then we can put some more storage back in here. Um, like uh, this. Great. Great. And that was probably soybeans, 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 yes. And that's looking a little bit cleaner. Now this is over here. Water is going in over here. They don't have the means to produce their own water, but this is a good pool of water for them to pull from. So I could, they could, in theory, pull from here. And that'll maintain this population. But it looks like the majority of the population is going to be actually working this district. So maybe I just move the district over there? No. Maybe? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm at a complete loss here. But, 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 um, should be fine. Oh, I didn't put any centrifuges in or explosive factories. That's not good because we're running out of extract. Okay, that needs to get rectified now. Um, okay, that's path platform here. Should be able to fit two centrifuges right there, right? Water, centrifuge, centrifuge. Get that going. We should have the materials that we need for all of that. That should be priority numero uno. Can I? I don't believe I can. No, I need to double the fit over that. And then I'd have to build stairs on either side. Yeah, that's just not worth it. Um. What else did we need? We needed an explosive manufacturer. So that's in here. Go. Uh, not that side. Make it a little bit easier for them. Use the F key. I know it's one step closer, but hey, it's one step closer. <laughs> um, great. How many, how many jobs are over here? It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 jobs over here alone. Hmm. Hmm. Power is transferred now, so we can't actually turn some of this back on. Um, you need... Tell you what to do. Prioritize you... Oh, that's so moist. That is so moist. Get our planks running again. Get all of that. All the gear workshops running again. This is a lot cleaner. Uh, it's a lot cleaner than it was, so I'm I'm pretty happy with how well this turned out. That that is a well-oiled-ish machine, right? Tell you guys what to do with your stuffs. That, and we'll go ahead and. Oh, I have seven beavers over here. 
doing nothing. So we're going to migrate some of this population over to that side. There we go. And that should have helped a little bit. Yeah, there, another one popped up as soon as I hit the migrate button. Oh, I have two kits. Wait, no. Where, where do I... Huh? There it is. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Pardon me. My goodness. I am... I am dying here. <laughs> uh, did you actually... No, there's another one over here. Okay. Um... There's something I can give them to do. And, oh, you know what? We'll plus this up. We'll make that the lowest priority. So any additional beavers that pop up can just go in here and they can help with the hauling and stuff. And all of that. Um... I did want to get a an engine over here or something to allow them to actually make some fermented cassava for themselves. That would help them out immensely on the foodstuffs. And I did want to actually fix this, so let's do that. How are we doing over here? This side, everything's looking good. Prioritize that by haulers. Uh, probably need a larger storage for our canola oil. We probably don't need three of these running right now. But yeah, this is looking a heck of a lot nicer. Could break this off into its own district now. I think. Fermented soybeans, cassavas, eggplant rations, mangrove, berries. Um... And just set a minimum over here. I should do the same over here. Just set a minimum. And as... As, uh... Uh, the beavers, uh, expire, if you will. They just get backfilled by the primary district. They'll just feed out of District 1 into the other districts. And I think that might be the best course of action. This is all... Um... Yeah. I know not. Okay, what else did I say I was going to do here? So we did this. This is so much cleaner now. I'm so much happier about all of this system now. It looks nicer. It looks cleaner. Everything is in neat, orderly fashion. There's storage here. There's pathing everywhere so that they can do things a bit better. It's still red, but it's a, it's a controlled red. Which is better than it was, I think. Um, and we do have some ex uh, room for expansion if we need to. We can continue on up here if we need more centrifuges and so on. And we could do the same thing. We could expand some of the pathing or some of the platforms to put some more of these things up here. But I don't think we need two of those. We don't need... I'll keep this going. Um make sure that everything's being imported you guys should be importing uh scrap metal good you are that's uh, always import scrap metal always import scrap metal. we'll click that button and we're gonna get back into the whole district management logistics problem that we did in the last playthrough that's gonna be great but hey water's doing good it's in the 4.4k range now this is looking better woods looking a lot better so that's good um probably need to get in come on game get in here some like food like little uh little happy places for them to grab some food stuffs during the day um instead of having to run all the way down here well there's food and water right here but it's still they have to leave and in some instances they have to go around all that get over here or they run all the way back up here and it's just out of the way um so yeah let's do that real quick two three four do this button it'll be fermented cassavas you'll be mangrove fruit corn rations and eggplant 
and we'll set all of you to obtain real quick and prioritize by holler once these get thrown in already in that's glorious and then i don't know if i should put water in here probably two water tanks there's no reason not to we've got these little nooks these little crannies back in here we could shove those into without any issue and fill these with all the waters and set all of them to obtain so that should allow for a bit of a better work day for them productivity should go up a little bit better with the food readily available as well as the water is concerned where where the water is concerned hopefully that means things will be better for them i'm not entirely sure but we're reaching the end of this drought this is another long drought my goodness this is looking this is looking really nice i'm really happy with how that turned out now that that's done let's uh and since we're in the middle of this uh drought probably start working our way over here so this all just feeds down into here and we're gonna need a way to get over here but i don't want to work in this area now they can build underneath bridges but that that's not how that's gonna work over there um, you know what? Do this. I've been talking about getting over there forever. And we have yet to do it. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And it's gonna be great. Path right there. And be able to just throw that in right there, right there. I think, uh, nope, that'll be a triple, double, single. Stairs. So, pull this path like that all the way over to here. And... I believe that's going to be a double and then a single, like that, and path like so, and then can come in here and put in, not levees, we don't want to cause a flood of poop water, but if we put the dam in, that should keep this side a little bit more full for longer, and we can pump all that out. Now this side will definitely need a district here because that's if you like that's that's an excessive amount of distance for them to work to get over here. Now, I would love to get this turned into like a uh, a bot only area. That'd probably be the best idea, but we're not to that point yet in this playthrough. Like bots are a little bit further out right now. So we'll probably hold off on doing that. Like, we still have to get this whole water situation finagled, right? Food. Food situation needs to get fixed, too. It gets, it's trending positive now, now that we've got all of this running properly. But we're, we're lacking in the workers to meet the demand over here for all of these positions that we've just created, right? Um, I believe all of our missing... Beavers are in, yeah, five in there, probably, eh, I don't know where the other, wait, oh yeah, the, the additional missing are over here, yeah, that's fine, um, yeah, yeah. um, let's see, what else are we working on, so they're building this, they got that, that path done really fast, and, Actually, let's tear this path out real quick. And do this like so. Get our stairs up like that. 
and we can that and we can do this then we can grab that path and act it like so and that it's it's not that much better I don't think maybe maybe it is maybe it isn't see oh I need to actually put the no I don't need it why isn't that actually connected whatever so let's see here that they are working on all this come on computer don't you dare block yourself in dude oh my goodness he almost blocked himself in what what a noob what an absolute noob thing to do um we could now that we have this path over here oh i wanted to blast this down too boo this is fine we can we can work off of this right right large water wheels yeah Right? Maybe? I have to blast that out. Then fill this side in with some levees. Then put another large water wheel on this side. Uh, oh, they're already building that. Why are you guys building that? <laughs> you guys gotta eat through all of my goods. They don't have the means to actually run that power anywhere yet. <laughs> Could run it this way and then cut through this corner. Then somehow finagle it under here and then up. Shouldn't be that hard of a thing to do. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. And then I also... Well, um, uh, this should be clean water over here from now on, right? But this is never filled in because this is all being blocked off at this level. And that we've even seen like the max temperate cycle doesn't even fill this reservoir entirely yet. I don't know if that's the answer. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. We're building this up here. So this is moving. So this is good. That's going to go in. Now, I do want... Do we have... We've got explosives working the right direction. Um, how many, that's 50 explosives, right? 200 metal blocks. We've almost got the blocks. And we have the gears. Good. Good. Start working our way over here. And if we do that... Oh, not that. If we do this... Put our levees in like that. And do something like that. That should keep things moving in the right ish direction. If I blast this out, I can let that run that way. This isn't going to be. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. That should be enough of an outflow to allow for that to go. I think. And if I put my, uh, um, 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 bad water pumps over this. Well, there's no need for this if I have that running constantly. Yeah, there's no need for that. Um, that's gonna be out of the way. They're not gonna be able to reach that. 
probably help them if I put in some storage here. Like right here. Go ahead and... Where are you guys going? What are you guys doing? <laughs> They're going... No! You're going all the way around there to put that in. What is wrong? What is... What is... What 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 on earth are you guys doing? Was that necessary? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my absolute goodness. I cannot believe they did that. Pathing in this game is ridiculous sometimes. Look, they already put two logs right there. Can you guys focus on that. You guys are insane. Look, you already built this. Guys, you guys are crazy. Absolutely crazy. I approve of it, but you guys are crazy. Not that. There. And yeah. Then if we path down. Yeah. Okay. So this is good. We're gaining access to this. We're putting this in. Um, give this a priority so they get that accomplished and then give that a priority bump as well so that they work on that before doing anything else and then if we come in here and we do this double like so put in that guy right there not that one we can put in our bad water pump right here and right here and if we give them a little bit of storage right here for food stuffs and water stuffs they should be able to stay up here a bit longer and we'll go ahead we'll just do uh, soybeans why not then give them a large storage tank for bad water. And then we'll have that just uh, set to supply. And that should keep things running better. Now we could increase the number that we have over here. And speaking of doing things properly, you guys ain't doing nothing. So you can go elsewhere and help out. Preferably with the hauling. Please and thank you. That'd be appreciated. How are we doing on everything else? Okay, pine resin's doing good. We're doing good on scrap metal. We're doing good on treated planks. We're doing good on materials. Food is moving in the positive. Kohlrabi's and uh, mangrove fruits are the things that are in the negative, if you will. But... Uh, food's looking good. Water's looking really good. This is a looking really good, too. We're ending our drought right now. Which means that should start spilling out here. Let's check on our network supply. So we do need to turn a couple more of these on. Get them running. And that should meet the demand there. The demand signal should be met. We'll turn you guys on because we do need that bad water. It's going to eat into our supply, but that's fine. We need the extract. We need the explosives. We need, we need the bad water. This should be nearing completion over here. We'll get that to be logged, set to obtain so they don't have to run nearly as far. That's good. Where are you guys building that one? You are, you just... Okay, fine. Um, yeah. So my rationale behind building this is so that it doesn't backflow and then I can have a constant source of power moving down here when we have a drought running. Like for now, all of this is going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem because there's not really an outflow for or an outlet for any of this probably need to come over here and put in an outlet for that 
that means something like that and probably pathing over there to facilitate that give me the path Please and thank you. Um, that is an, oh, not, wrong one. Wrong one. Small warehouse right here. Set that to explosives real quick. Give that a priority bump so they can knock that out real quick. Ensure that the logs are moving in this direction. Set that is a prioritize obtain. Uh, obtain. Get that a priority bump so that they can have some food and water up here. While they're building all of that, that shouldn't be too egregious. That shouldn't be that much of a problem. Now that's moving out. We'll power, water, tape. And we should be pumping up some bad water. Good. That's good. That's Gucci. That's, that's really Gucci. That means our explosives are moving in the right direction. That's good. We're about to burn a lot creating this outlet and that could be an outlet for additional power I'm just gonna feed out uh, when I get all of these capped off we can have all that just feeding directly down this pipe or I can remove all of this but I want to roll this before or control these discharges before I get into any of this means putting a lot of levees around this and just feeding it appropriately to all of the places that I want it to go. Get up to 2.5. That should fill up nicely again. I still need to get in here and blast this out and get that water out of there, but we're doing really good on water. Like really, really good on water. Considering where we were not even three, four hours ago in, into the gameplay of this, uh, this this playthrough I'm, I'm very excited with how things are going like really really excited um what are we doing on this discharge okay so it is a drought coming up next having this blocked off or not blocked off but having having this taken care of will be great it's gonna hit the priority button so they can focus on that um Set that, set that to obtain. That should help out with the stuffs that they need for that. And probably throw in an additional storage for metal blocks. So that should help things move a little bit faster. That button will lower the priority on that one. So that they can get the metal blocks set up in here. Now all of the people that were already on the max priority were moving over here with gears. But that's fine. I'm going to set that to open so as soon as that gets put in we can have these moving and flowing in the right direction you guys put this in they are put that to obtain not logs why did i select logs metal blocks there we go okay that's doing good that's doing good why are you overflowing Interesting. Um, let's see here. Where else are we missing? Okay, this is not good. That is not good. I need that to overflow, please. Maybe a floodgate would be would not be remiss to put right there. That might be a good idea so that I can ensure that they get water. Because this is going to be a min in cycle temperate cycle which means you guys aren't gonna have water they are gonna be able to import it right they have water import as set to always so that there will be water given to them but if they're self-sufficient then they don't need that going in um you want to I want to expand they need they need more farming we could do another here like this just up here that could be something cool that we do gonna require tearing that out and getting some pathing up there but I'm not not thinking that's necessary how are we doing up here 
Gears are going in. Metal blocks are next. Prioritize that by hauler so they can bring that over. Don't think I need to build a gear storage over here. Already done. Oh wait, I, I should. Do gear. Let's do a small warehouse for gears. Get that in. Set that for gears. Go ahead. Max prioritize so that gets knocked out. And that should be good there. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Can you, can you guys bring the water, please? That'd be great. That'd be huge. I haven't put anything in there, but nothing is... There's no need for that quite yet. I did put that in pretty fast. They can't reach that. We're going to need to give them a path down there so they can finish that. And the path over here so we can run that power up in here but i think that's a problem for future me to take care of very i'm very happy with how well this turned out this looks so much nicer so much cleaner of a build so much better and just it, it, it's so much it, it's better in so many ways and honestly i think we can tear this out and turn this into more more food. More food production. Okay. It's always a good thing. Do need to put or start dotting in some more um more uh uh, uh of these little uh food and water depots throughout every everywhere just so that it can help with the uh overall productivity. But I think that's also another problem for future me to take care of. I think I'll hold off on fighting that. Um, how are we doing over here? Corn, eggplants are all good. Cassava, soybean, kohlrabi. Kohlrabi seems to always be like it. It takes so little time for it to go. Ah, uh, it just never seems to keep up. Maybe the next time we'll do dirt excavators. We'll get that in. Twenty-seven day drought though. That's, uh, that's interesting. That's, uh, that'll be fun. It'll probably be a next time thing, too. This is almost done. Metal blocks are going in now. Explosives are sitting on the standby and ready to go in as well. Metal blocks are down there, so they should just be able to run in and out. Hopefully that could get done really fast, because I wanted to have that be, like, the... Uh, the end of the episode, you know? Because that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty Gucci! It's a it's a great end uh or a great thing to end on you know having our first bad tide discharge or bad water discharge and you know that'd be pretty gucci that, that'll take a few seconds though we've got to move a lot of metal blocks up here <laughs> like a lot a lot of metal blocks let's see what's that up maybe that'll help out metal blocks are right here well, they were. Now they're all in here. Need 23 more. We've got 30 more metal blocks. Left. Or no, we need 33 more. Okay. Um, they are working on them. Productivity's not good here. Um, we have scrap metal. Yeah, we do. We have scrap metal here. Uh, that should be good. Should be fine. Yeah, five more, and then just explosives. One more, and then just explosives. That's empty. We're out of explosives. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. 18 explosives. 18. 18. 18 explosives. Are they running over here with explosives? No, they're running over here with logs. Uh, that's some explosives, but you're a hauler. 
Okay. You're gonna run home. You're gonna do the thing. You're in. It's in! The battle water discharge is in! Yes! There we go. Now we've got infinite bad water. Let's freaking go. That is beautiful. We have we have opened uh the the maps up. <laughs> Poop water hole. It's right there. It's forever ours. We have we have access to bad water forever. For lack of a better term, I'm going to have to uh, bleep out. <laughs> <laughs> some of that commentary <laughs> but we have access to the poop water forever for days for years for eternity that's gonna feed out this way that's gonna feed into this that's gonna provide us power and we can probably just keep running this side all the way over here forever and then at some point we'll do a mega build back on this side where we just have line after line after line of line of all the power just running everywhere because the bots, the timber bots for the uh, for the iron teeth, they need power. They don't run off of uh, uh, like, uh, stuff produced in the the refineries here. There are no refineries for the timber bots here. It's juice. It's it's quite literally juice or power, you know, power like that produced by this by engines or by power wheels. And having this means we're gonna have power going for days question is uh, I think I need to block that off but that's gonna be have to be that's definitely gonna have to be next time because I've been rambling on and on for the past hour and a half now I hope you guys had a fantastic time we actually accomplished something pretty Gucci today we got industry fixed we broke into this system up here so that's great we have, we have bad water forever now. We'll never have a shortage of that. Never have a shortage of his extract. Never have a shortage of explosives. We're no, never have a shortage of anything that we need to keep these guys happy again. Food's moving in the right direction. Water is definitely in the right direction. We've built our first district, or our second district technically, so this is moving. These guys are not the happiest, but they're healthy. Okay, they have food, they have water. These guys are happy, they're healthy, they're doing everything. I need to break this off and make it its own industrial district so that these guys don't have to work or walk nearly as far. That probably means that we're going to have to throw in some things to make them happier. Throw in some more um, housing over here just to facilitate that as well as some more storage for some water. But that's for future me to figure out. I'm really happy with where we're at. We're leagues away from where we were at, uh, at the end of Friday's episode. The colony's thriving. We have food. We have water. We have happiness, joy. You, you name it. And we've got bad water for days. We have everything. We have everything except for timber bots to do all the work for us. But that's, uh, that's, uh, that's for, for future us to figure out. I'm going to get out of here, guys. I've been rambling again for the past hour and a half with uh, nothing to show for it other than uh, beavers being excited and happy and wet and joyous and full of food. So, that being said, you have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Uh, remember to keep your beaver nice and hydrated. Remember to keep yourself nice and hydrated. And always, my friends, remain thirsty. I'll catch you later. I'm out. See ya!